thought I would make a quick video talking about what you see right here. This is an idea I had for a while and uh, I finally ordered the drivers for it to try it out. Um, now originally I was going to have four around the central tweeter. You can see the tweeter in the middle. The tweeter is actually uh, a one inch dome. I think it is with a with a horn. So it's 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 horn uh, loaded. And the the idea here is to create a um, kind of like a coax driver with the other mid range drivers encircling the tweeter. And the advantage this would have over a real coax is, well, first of all, the tweeter is not firing as like it's not loading into a moving cone. You know, that's the problem with coax uh, drivers is the tweeter is right in the middle and the cone itself of the, you know, other larger, you know, lower driver is the horn. So when that's operating, it's moving in and out and that's not what's happening here, right? The tweeter is fixed on the baffle and then you've got these um, ring of uh, three inch, three and a half inch uh, mid ranges around it. Now, like I said, I was going to do four first and I actually uh, set up a test baffle for that yesterday. This board here is actually screwed to that and I ran some measurements and that encouraged me to have a closer look uh, because one of the big questions with something like this is when you have, um, you know, drivers putting out the same signal, you can create comb filtering. And what comb filtering is, is cancellations um, in the response. So I wanted to set it up with the widest spacing that I would go with. And that's what I initially drew when I drew up the design was with that spacing, which is around five inches center to center for the mid-range drivers with the tweeter in the middle. And the results from those measurements you can see on the screen here were quite encouraging because I didn't see any off axis uh, cancellations, not to the point where you could say that this is an on sound design. Now, I should say also that this is all very uh, roughly rigged up the crossover. I did a best guess type thing for 1400 hertz and um, set it up with the components that I have were close enough. They're not bang on. So this is all very rough and rudimentary and preliminary. So you're not seeing anything finished here, right? Even though this looks kind of cool, this is still just a test. And I use the same crossover with this one right here. And those are the measurements you're seeing now. The only difference is, is that I padded down the tweeter by five decibels because it's really super efficient. This tweeter is like 96 decibels uh, without padding it down. I padded it down to around 91. Once again, best guess with the uh, components that I have that were close enough. And with the six mid ranges, which have a, a nominal or normal sensitivity of around 81 decibels, I got the sensitivity up closer to what the tweeter is putting out with that padding, padding it down. So, you know, the on axis response doesn't look like anything super, but the 20 degree off axis response is absolutely flat. Now, if that's what you're going for, this is what you're getting from this. And like I said, this is all very roughly put together and you know, the, the baffle is not the right size. Also, the back is open, so it's acting um, uh, it's open acting. It's acting open baffle here. This would be an enclosure, so you wouldn't be losing um, you wouldn't be losing sensitivity down lower. Like you can see that on the 40 degree off axis for this with the mic, well, you know, over here, you're losing some because of the back wave cancellation from, you know, the back of the open baffle here. So yeah, that would be in a box. It wouldn't be open like it is. And you would, you know, be picking up some of that. Now the woofer that I had in mind for this is one that I had before. I, I had that in my old um, three ways. It's a C's um, 
R-E-X, I don't know, I, I, I don't remember the number. Maybe I'll put the info on the screen here. But it's around 92 decibels sensitivity. And I'm thinking that, you know, these will take me down to the baffle step, whatever the baffle step is for this arrangement. And then the woofer will cross from there. Say the baffle step is around 300. These will go down to 300 and then the woofer will take it from there. And I'm hoping that the um, response will be fairly even, as in sensitivity matchup. And I won't have to do anything to, like I won't have to pad these down because like this is the goal. The goal was to make something that's fairly efficient, you know, a little higher sensitivity. You know, there's not much point using this many drivers if you're not getting something interesting out of it. And that would be the other feature is higher sensitivity along with the uh, concept of it being a coax without being a coax. So it's a point source from, you know, 20K right down to 300, wherever the woofer uh, crosses or wherever baffle step takes over. So yeah, I thought it was interesting. I thought I would make a quick video talking about it. See what you now I should say that I'm not starting on this design yet. I'm still working on my 10 channel amplifier. Um, making good progress on that and I'll have an update video on that fairly soon.